Hello people, Mr. Atrophy here. This is kind of expanding on a previous video about Nibiru and uh, the type of people that spread that. People that look at a TV show like Discovery or CSI or a YouTube video and instantly believe whatever they see and not look into it. This pisses me off because every time there's a new show on Discovery about quantum physics, I'm sure to run into somebody the next day that all of a sudden is an expert on M-theory. Judges are also getting sick of this because of what's called the CSI effect. And that is courtroom evidence not working the way it does on TV so people aren't believing the courtroom evidence and people are going to jail because of this and it's sad because people are fucking stupid I, I don't understand how people can look at something with an honest interest enough where they can take a thing to heart and then not look into it. If I see something on YouTube, like um, I was uh, looking at uh, uh, an explanation of Feinberg diagrams, and there was an application that I've never seen before of that. So I went on Google Scholar and started looking stuff up. And it took a while because a lot of Google, Google Scholar finds want you to buy um, subscriptions to the colleges that it cites. But if you just keep it up a little bit, you can find one that's free. Or at least get enough from the base article to look it up on normal Google. So I read up on it and ended up learning some pretty cool shit. But the way it was explained in the YouTube video wasn't exactly 100% correct. It was simplified and left out a couple key parts. And if I wouldn't have looked it up, and I would have been talking about that application of the Feinberg diagrams, um, if somebody knew what they were talking about, I would have looked like a complete and utter tool. But... In this culture, it seems less and less that you need to actually know what you're talking about. All you need to be able to do is cite a TV show or something and be able to sum it up in a sentence. One little vague blurb about whatever you're talking about. And I, I really don't understand that, and that's the skeptic part of me. I do want to question something enough where it gets to the point where I can believe it with a reasonable responsibility. But as I've said before, I do hate using the word believe. I'd rather have ideas and theories. But it's really not it really is a proper application. Like I said, at some point, you have to gather enough proof where you can believe that it's factual. And that is leading into my next video, which I'm working on right now. I just saw a woman that is a cluster fuck of the worst parts of believers and skeptics. Um, I have to contact the person that made the video and see just how much he will allow me to cite him. I'm at least going to link his video. Um, if he will let me use a couple clips from his video, that would be really cool, but I kind of don't expect him to do that, so I'm not counting on that. So that's going to, be, going to be coming up in the next day or two because I really want to uh, watch all of the series on this. He has like eight or nine. And 
Um, I'm going to stay away from him talking about this exact lady. But she, she did point out a, 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 a kind of person to me that, that is a, a whirlwind of the worst kinds of ignorance from believers and skeptics. So that's going to be coming up. Thanks.